Hi guys, Steve Spell 2 here, Donald Trump Media Tracker. I, I just, I need to clarify a couple of things about Donald Trump. Donald Trump has recently made some statements indicating that he would not prosecute Hillary Clinton. And a lot of you have a heartburn about that. You're emailing me. I get a lot of emails here. This is a fairly big page and it's growing. So, I just got to tell you, if you, I, I want to ask you, how many, how many former presidents have ever prosecuted anybody? How many, uh, how many pairs of animals did Moses bring on the ark? None. Pre presidents don't prosecute people, and Moses had nothing to do with the ark. No, it did. So you have, you have to stop and think for a minute. Donald Trump showed us his heart. He showed us his soul. He laid everything bare on the campaign trail. He gave us all of the winks and the nods. We know who he is. And now he's got to be president. He has appointed the people, and he is appointing the people in his cabinet that are most likely to do his bidding. And so now Donald Trump is pivoting, and he's being the president. He's going to be saying things to appeal to a wider electorate, while meanwhile his minions are carrying out his orders. Donald Trump gets it. He gets it. He really gets it. He knows. We've been watching these liberals for years play these stupid little games to be awarded these stupid little prizes, and Donald Trump understands that, that if you play the stupid little games, you get the stupid little prizes. And so we're playing the media's stupid little games, and we're beating them at it. We're going to defeat them at it. Because what we want, we, we need to ap appeal to a broader portion of the electorate. And that is not done by reaching across the aisle. That is done by taking their people from them. That is done by picking them off and putting them in our party without giving the liberal Democrats anything that they want. Let me tell you what I want. I want to see the Democrats fail for the next hundred years. I never want to see a liberal Democrat back in the White House again. Never. We were this close, we were this close to having a radical imam in every freaking neighborhood and radical Muslim terrorist on the march planting IEDs all over the country. That was coming. That was coming. And that was brought to us by Barack Obama. I never want to see that happen to this country again. And so I, I could turn this TV off and sleep well at night and not even follow this, 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 the news on Donald Trump. And I could rest assured knowing that Donald Trump is getting the job done for the American people. Getting the job done for the American people. You can't possibly hang on to every part and parcel of Donald Trump's words for the next four years. And, and, and as he's trying to manipulate the media, as he's trying to manipulate the left, we got midterm elections that are coming up. You got to think, you got to think for a broader strategy. We want a, a, a filibuster proof majority. We want a filibuster, filibuster proof majority. We don't want them to be able to talk their way out of any legislation, period. And so we want, it, we, want a, we want a stronger majority. We want a stronger majority during the midterm elections. And that's coming up. It's right around the corner, right around the corner. And so once we get more power, once Donald Trump gets more power, and I say we as the American people, once the American people get more and more power, that we can continue to effectively crush these Democrats and crush these liberals. Alison Camarado, I don't like this woman. I don't like Chris Como. I don't want them running the country. I don't want CNN running my country. I don't like these people. There is no love lost between me and CNN. And so I, 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 I just, I would encourage all of you to look at Donald Trump's cabinet appointments and understand that he has got to be conciliatory now. He told us who he was. He showed us his heart. And now he's got to be conciliatory and trick these bastards into getting everything that we want. He can't give us anything now. He's not even the president. And even if he was the president, presidents don't prosecute people. But I can promise you Donald Trump appointed the person as attorney general that is least likely to be seen crossing the tarmac with Bill Clinton. You see? So this is a balancing act. It's a, del it's a delicate balancing act. And we have got to crush liberalism. We've got to defeat them politically. And the only way we can do that is to play their stupid little games. Steve Spell, thank you for watching my broadcast. Invite your friends to like this page here at Donald Trump Media Tracker and stay in touch. Bye.